Uh, welcome. My name is Alex Ullman. I'm the product manager for HP Esmeral Software from Hewlett Packard Enterprise, and I'm working on a project known as Private Cloud AI. And this was an offering that has been the culminated efforts of our hybrid cloud vision. And by not just abstracting underlying infrastructure, both hardware and software, but we wanted to, and, and but coming together in such a way that it is a unified experience and being able to work with that infrastructure, <coughs> still having maintaining sovereignty, both over the infrastructure and the data associated with it. But what, we wanted to, what I want to talk about in this session here is the, how important it is to abstract the infrastructure from the end user. We touched on this in last session, where we actually gave a bit of a demonstration on how, on how using a HPE AI essentials on top of private cloud AI, which is to be a rack appliance, rack, stack, and configure through the uh, GreenLake Cloud Platform, in this case, the, uh, the, biz, the private cloud business, business enterprise, business edition, there's one of them, Ed. <laughs> there's a lot of acronyms in this organization, as you all, all very well know. Either way, the existing GreenLake Cloud Platform is able to connect and automatically configure an entire rack, and the, 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 the promise made by both our CTO and our CEO in Antonio Neri, live on stage at the, uh, at the Las Vegas Sphere earlier this year at Discover, was it to be able to stand up the infrastructure in just three clicks. So once that infrastructure is stood up, that rack, same thing. We want to be able to abstract the components needed for along the MLOps workflow. But I also spoke about earlier in my first, in my first presentation about the importance of that understanding and appreciation for all the steps along the line. And I spoke about earlier what certain abstractions at a software level could look like and what we want to do to be able to not take away any of the power and autonomy from people who have used data engine, who have used uh, tools associated with data engineering and data science in the past and just say, great that you have that learning and that, that expertise, but we now have this tool that does it all for you and makes it redundant. That is that equivalent, as I mentioned, of uh, of, of, of you know, quickly not having that appreciation and just spitting something out to market. I would almost put it as to say it's the, it is the, truly the three-minute meal that has, well, that has replaced the microwave cookbooks of, of the 80s. And we all know how some of those meals just happen to taste. Sometimes it's appreciation to have some of the steps. It's good to appreciate some of the steps along the way, even if the appliance that is doing most of the heavy lifting is, uh, is the same. And I want to take it back here to uh, this particular slide. So what we have spoken about earlier is that the underlying infrastructure, oh, there it is, that the underlying infrastructure we have wanted to abstract in our offering of HPE Private Cloud AI. That is the GPU accelerator compute, the storage for models, and which obviously needs to be fast in their size to be able to be put into a GPU on a node somewhere else on the network. So we need high, high speed networking as well. We want to be able to access all of these resources in a virtualized software layer. Directing them direct, connect, uh, direct, connecting to them directly is, uh, is time consuming. And if we can abstract that one further through applications and management, that's even better. And that is what we are aiming to deliver with Private Cloud AI, an abstraction and ease of use from the infrastructure perspective. And so with Private Cloud AI, on top, so I should say on top of Private Cloud AI from a software perspective, what we're able to demonstrate is the following. That with the tool set available on HP AI Essentials, users, other software vendors can install, deploy, create their own automations unique to the data structures of their own organization so that they can be automated. No longer do I have to worry about the interconnections between these data sources and the automatic retrieval, gathering, and selecting for any given use case. We are now in a world that one day, a software application created in-house on our platform can do so with a single prompt. We are now living in that world today. And we're probably not too far off it, but it, the, even, if, even if it's gonna be a third party vendor that delivers that software, we have the platform to deploy it. If it's an in-house development based off of the unique data characteristics of an organization, we have the platform to build it. The same thing goes with our co partnership with NVIDIA. We want to abstract the development and deployment of large language models, including not just, not just uh, text-based models, but embedding models, uh, code generation models. And NVIDIA are working very well with us 
to make these components scalable for enterprises. NVIDIA's uh, bread and butter for many years has been working with libraries and frameworks, particularly around their uh, NVIDIA GPUs and hardware. And now they are moving into the software side of the things. Of course, scaling software, as everybody knows here when it comes to infrastructure, non-trivial. Thankfully, they've partnered with the best. And now with that application, we can wrap all of that up and that automation through a, 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 a offering that is coming with private cloud AI, which we are calling solution accelerators. I'm able to leverage a connected data source. I'm then able to and select certain files or certain tables. I'm then able to select a large language model or other set of generative models and have them pre-deployed and pre-connected to an end user application. Data, models, application, all deployed with a single click. That is what is coming with solution accelerators on private cloud AI. Uh, in the case of the build that I have here in my demo environment, and just for the sake of time, it's not something I can show you today, but on hpe.com, uh, forward slash, I think it's private cloud AI. I think my colleague Janine there will be able to attest to that exact URL. That demo is one of the first things you will see. And it will look a little bit different in terms of its current paint job in, as we strive towards our new, uh, effectively our new standards in terms of front end development. There's a lot of unification happening and that's a size of our enterprise, no mean feat. But that is what is coming uh, as a, a formal release um, by the end of this year. The solution accelerator. That's correct, yes. Okay. Where we're trying to, again, abstract that. You can still, as you saw earlier, still perform all those underlying components. I can still take data, create a vector database, make a little UI that leverages that automatically. Yes, but it's nice to drag and drop in a PDF, but that's not taking a table with hundreds of millions of rows in it, or, nor is it going through thousands of files and selecting ones that are for a relevant use case. We want to be able to scale that same, uh, that same RAG workflow in that case to enterprises, enterprise scale, while still keeping the user experience as easy as possible. Thank you very much, guys. And uh, if there are any questions after the fact, feel free to join us in the breakout session. Um, very excited to, to talk more with you all one-on-one. -on -one. And thank you for everyone joining in online.